I've been trying to like, figure out how to build, because uh, there's a lot of humor that I'm trying to build in the play. My name is Luis Alfaro and I'm a playwright. We tell stories, first and foremost. We dream our stories. We tell stories about what it means to be here now. We also tell stories of the past. A typical day for a playwright is to read a lot. I sit at a desk and uh, I don't uh, type first, I write long form. So I, I still sort of feel like what I'm doing is writing essays. But in my essays, people are talking. There's a lot of dialogue. I think in order to be a, a really good playwright, I think you have to be very interested. So you have to ask a lot of questions. I think you have to uh, want to know things about people, how people express themselves, and how people talk. A playwright also technically has to be in love with language, and I think he has to learn a lot of language. So I sit uh, with a dictionary, and I sit with a thesaurus. <laughs> For me, it was about being in junior high and writing journals. I used to write the stories of just growing up in downtown LA. My skill set really came out of journaling and I journaled like every day for years. So my first big break as a playwright came, I uh, used to, uh, in my neighborhood, there was a place called the Inner City Cultural Center. And so I wrote a little play called True Stories in the Corner of Pico and Union. And it was a contest and I won the contest. And so that was, uh, it gave me $500. And that was huge when you're 16. The best part of my job is that I don't, I'm never alone. And even though I'm a writer, and you think that writers are always alone, you are always with your characters. I'm always around people, hanging out in coffee shops, and any place where people are talking, I can be found. My advice to a young playwright would be get really interested in the world, get really interested in poetry, get really interested in language, but also uh, listen to all the people around you, listen to your family. Your family already has poetry, and the way that you use words is the way that uh, characters speak on a stage.